Welcome to Eternal Mana, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. We are looking at a list in Philippians chapter 4 verse 8, where Paul tells us, think on these things, and he proceeded to give us eight words. Just to refresh your memories, think on that which is true, Think on that which is noble and honorable. Think about that which is right. Think about that which is pure. Think about that which is lovely and beautiful. Think about that which is admirable and good repute. Think about that which is excellent. And today, we want to look at the eighth word, Paul says, think about that which is praiseworthy. Now, as you and I go through life, uh, we can take two attitudes. To look with a critical eye simply means to pay close attention to detail. And that is very, very necessary and very helpful to look with a critical eye. But to look with a critical spirit means to microscopically focus on the faults of people and that becomes very harmful and dangerous. A critical spirit. Now, that does not mean we condone sin. We need to call sin, sin. I am my brother's keeper. And when I see some inconsistency, a bad behavior in a person lovingly, I need to correct them. I need to point it out to them. People go through life with blind spots, unable to see the terrible weaknesses and deficiencies in their character. And uh, we are called by God to come alongside of them and to point it out to them and help them overcome it. But a critical spirit means I only keep focusing on the negative and I don't focus on the positive. So Paul is saying, as we go through life, look for that which is worthy of praise. Am I preoccupied with other people's imperfections? Do I brood over their faults and uh, failures and moral flaws? When I see that, I need to, it's a call to prayer. It's a call to prayer. When I see the faults, failures of people, it is a call to prayer that uh, God will help them overcome it. Do I reflect only on the wrongs that people do rather than reflect on aspects of their character that are morally praiseworthy? If we look closely, we can spot at least one good thing in a person. Whenever a couple comes to me for counseling, <laughs> even before I listen to what their problems are, I first ask them to mention three complimentary things about each other. And uh, it's uh, strange they struggle to come up with three things. And then I help them out. I look at the husband and say, does she cook? Yes, she cooks. Hey, that's something to uh, praise her for. Uh, does she uh, take care of the children? Yes, she takes care of the children. Hey, that is something to compliment her. Uh, does she uh, do the groceries? Yes, she goes and buys all the groceries. Hey, that's something uh, to compliment uh, her for. Does she keep a clean house? Yes, 
And then suddenly the husband realizes how blind he has been. So many good things that are happening and he didn't even notice and didn't even appreciate and didn't even compliment. So we are called as we go through life to uh, be able to look at the items in a person's life that are praiseworthy. And uh, when it comes to our children, how much they need praise. So look for those qualities in your children uh, that are praiseworthy and uh, openly uh, praise them for it. And that will encourage them to do even better. God bless you. Amen. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.